Hello everyone, welcome to the CDP channel for today's reaction video. The Six Nations documentary full contact trailer has dropped. I've actually yet to see it, so I'm going to react to it for the first time. I'm going to see it and uh, you know, let me know what uh, let you know what my thoughts are on what I think is going to be a brilliant documentary. I, first of all, I absolutely love these sort of very sort of dramatic theatre sort of style documentaries. You know, we love Chasing the Sun, the British and Irish Lions documentary, for example. And uh, full contact on the Six Nations, I think, uh, you know, it's going to be a very similar type of, of concept. So very excited to see what it looks like. Um, but before we sort of react to the trailer, let me know what you think uh, of the of, of the documentary down in the comments below. And uh, subscribe to the channel as well if you are new. And uh, let's have a look, shall we? So, um, yeah, we're just going to basically go straight to it. I might pause along the way, but this is literally my first view of the trailer itself, which is set to drop at the end of January. How tough do you have to be to play rugby? Look at my ears, man. See, this ear is actually fine. Kind of. Believe it or not, this is my good ear. Yeah, the good old cauliflower ear. But to be fair, always, always Andrew Paul has got his ears bleeding. Every single time that that, that wound is, always reopens. Rugby requires an aggressive mindset. It's primal. But, See? Um, do I lie? He's tough to keep in control. Oh, that is for me so bucketless, by the way. Millennium Stadium, Welsh game, full band, orchestra, choir. Uh, one day, one day I will get across and, and, and see a game. The Six Nations is the tournament to decide the best team in Europe. This is the oldest rugby competition on earth. Just shot the, line. the rivalry is colossal. Ireland, the world number one. You're the ones that's getting hot. Yeah, I'll be interested to see actually, because obviously this would have been sort of Johnny Sexton sort of last season. So it'll be interesting to see some of the stories that sort of come across in the in this documentary actually. Scotland believes that they could win this. The best of us beats any team in the world. Well, cool there, Scotty Town. I don't think he's particularly wrong, to be honest. When Scotland are at their best, they are pretty formidable. Uh, they've had. A, I, I always think they've underperformed the last couple of years when it comes to Six Nations, to be honest, because they've been close but no cigar. And they could just find flip that switch and start winning a couple of those closer games. I do think they probably could compete. The head coach got sacked a month. Uh, yeah, true. We get to see the whole uh, the new the Borthwick area. We are not taking a backward step. Embrace the fear. You know, lots of lots of coach changes in the past the day screens. Well, we'd be okay no gats is back. This is a high demand environment. One bad moment and you could cost your team a match. Oh, I've been too old for this mate. <laughs> Players have got to be able to deal with all the highs and lows. Oh. As coaches, you've got to know what makes people tick. Always felt like an outsider. I feel like I've lost confidence. My body's absolutely broken. This is the last chance. No struggle with me. Yeah, it was Stuart Hogg's last, uh, last, uh, last, last few months actually. In the end. For help from you, I'm not afraid to say it. The camaraderie is very important. That sense of togetherness. I've got a responsibility not only to my teammates but my family, my friends. I've got a question. Well, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Um, I think it was cut, cut, cut slightly short there. I'm not quite sure why I didn't. Uh, so, but I'll tell you what. Very, very keen. I think especially, no, I mean, obviously the World Cup has already happened. So a lot of this would have been the preparation towards the World Cup. Uh, it was a very interesting Six Nations. Uh, you think about Scotland um, uh, and beating England, for example, uh, Wales and Italy, for example, which can be a bit of a rivalry. Lots of change of coaches, lots of uh, of change of the guard, players being uh, brought in ahead of the World Cup. So I'm excited. Um, I'm very, very keen. Let me know what you think uh, down in the comments below. We'll obviously do a review of the documentary when it does come out. I'm going to do watch it. And uh, it'll be on Netflix, by the way. Uh, so you can keep your eyes out for that. But uh, yeah, what, first, first glances, what do you think? What are your opinions? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys all very, very soon for another reaction video.